Hello viewers, today I will talk about American reality television series Epon Stars, All Actors and Actress Biography Net Worth. So first of all please like this video and subscribe our channel. Dear audience, what is Austin Chumley Russell's net worth and salary? Austin Chumley Russell is an American reality television star, businessman, and pawn shop employee who has a net worth of $5 million. Austin Russell, also known as Chumley, has become one of the most popular personalities on the hit reality show, Pawn Stars. The butt of the entire cast jokes most of the time, the employee at the Gold and Silver Pawn Shop in Las Vegas, Nevada, has become the resident lovable lug for many members of the viewing audience. His sweet nature has made him a client favorite, but his penchant for siding with the customer and his inability to haggle over prices has made him a bit of a headache at the shop. What he lacks in customer relations savvy, he makes up for in his encyclopedic knowledge of video games and toys. He often begs his bosses to purchase particular game items or toys when they come into the shop, though his co-workers are often at a loss as to whether the items are actually worth anything. Even though he has been referred to as the village idiot, by those around him he is clearly getting the last laugh. He launched his own company to handle his public appearances and to serve as a retail outlet for novelty items and his custom t-shirts. The company has done so well that he subsequently sold part of it to the gold and silver pawn shop in order to handle distribution. Early Life Austin Chumley Russell was born on September 8, 1982, in Henderson, Nevada. He earned the nickname Chumley when he was 12 years old after his father compared him one day to the walrus Chumley on the cartoon, Tennessee Tuxedo, because of his large face and prominent chin. Needless to say the name stuck. Chumley has two siblings, a brother named Sage and a sister named Tara. Personal Life He has a special interest in vintage pinball machines. Chumley is also an avid shoe collector with more than 200 pairs in his closet. He also enjoys sports, video games, skateboarding, and the Pokemon trading card game. He is a fan of punk rock and rap music. His favorite TV shows are Boardwalk Empire, The Sons of Anarchy, and Breaking Bad. In addition to his Maserati, Chumley owns a Rolls-Royce Phantom, Range Rover, Cadillac Escalade, and a 1964 Impala SS. He enjoys driving his 1986 Buick Regal, which he customized with hydraulic lifts on the front and back. Chumley weighed 345 pounds before undergoing gastric sleeve surgery, which reduced his stomach capacity to a mere 6 ounces. He worked out six days a week and has improved his diet, including drinking more juice, eating more vegetables, and giving up red meat. Chumley lost 110 pounds. He was inspired to make a major change due to his dad's death from pancreatic cancer at 54. Chumley is married to Olivia Russell. They were friends for a while before dating. The couple officially got engaged in May 2018. In August 2019, they got married. Now, no one really knows where Olivia is. In July 2020, fans noticed that all pictures of her had been scrubbed from Chumley's Instagram account. She was going to the University of California, Santa Barbara while Chumley lives in Las Vegas and films Upon Stars. He posted on his social media that it was hard living apart but the sacrifices would be worth it. Salary per episode for every episode of Pawn Stars that airs, Chumley earns a salary of $25,000. What was Richard A. Oldman Harrison's net worth? Richard A. Oldman Harrison was an American pawn shop owner and reality television personality who had a net worth of $8 million at the time of his death in 2018. Richard A. Oldman Harrison was famous for being one of the featured stars of the hit History Channel reality series Pawn Stars, 2009-2015. Old Man became known by his nickname when he was in his late thirties due to his appearance and general attitude. Richard opened the gold and silver pawn shop in Las Vegas, Nevada, with his son Rick in 1989 and as of 2010, he hadn't missed a day of work at the shop since 1994. Pawn Stars debuted in 2009 and less than three months later, it became the most watched program on the History Channel and it spawned the popular spin-off series, American Restoration, in 2010. Harrison appeared in more than 270 episodes of Capon Stars. Early Life Richard A. Oldman Harrison was born Richard Benjamin Harrison Jr. on March 4, 1941, in Danville, Virginia. When Richard was very young, his family relocated to Lexington, North Carolina. He studied at Lexington High School but dropped out during his junior year, and at the age of 14, Harrison drove a school bus to help his family make ends meet. 
At age 17, Richard met his future wife, and just before they married, he was arrested for stealing a car. When given a choice between going to prison or joining the military, Harrison chose the military. He enlisted in the Navy and left in 1962, then re-enlisted the following year because he needed health care benefits to pay for his daughter's medical expenses. Richard spent two decades in the Navy, and after he was discharged, he worked at his wife's real estate firm until it closed in 1981. Personal Life Richard married Joanne Rue on July 7, 1959, and they remained together until his death in 2018. The couple had three sons, Joseph, Christopher, and Rick, and their first child, daughter Sherry, was born with Down syndrome and died at the age of six. Harrison loved cars, and his son and grandson restored a 1966 imperial crown for Richard and Joanne's 50th wedding anniversary. He also owned a 1957 Chevy 150 that was a gift from the casts of Accounting Cars, the American Restoration, and the American Pickers. In 2012, Richard and Rick were sued by Daniel Callahan for failing to provide reasonable and necessary gas security at gold and silver coin shop. The $20,000 lawsuit was filed because Callahan allegedly suffered injuries when he was dragged out of the pawn shop and tossed onto the sidewalk after getting into an argument over a rifle he was trying to sell. Harrison's grandson, Corey, stated that neither Richard or Rick had any direct contact with the complainant. Later that year, the Pawn Stars were sued by the Harrison's former manager, Wayne F. Jeffries, stating that he was instrumental in the launch of the series and was unjustly fired after the show premiered. Jeffries alleged that he was never paid the fees and merchandising royalties he was promised. He was reportedly fired after TMZ published a story about an upcoming spin-off, Cajun Pawn Stars, that the cast had no knowledge of. What is Danny Coker's net worth? Danny Coker is an American car restorer and reality TV star who has a net worth of $13 million. Also known as The Count, Danny Coker is most famous for running Count's Customs, an automobile shop that specializes in customization and decoration. Count's Customs is the focus of the long-running History Channel reality show, Accounting Cars. Prior to his focal role on Accounting Cars, Danny Coker frequently appeared on the show, Pawn Stars, as an expert. Outside of Count's Customs, Coker owns a number of other businesses throughout Las Vegas. This includes Count's Vamped Rock Bar and Grill and Count's Tattoo Company. During his time in Vegas, Danny Coker also founded a rock band called Count 77. The semi-successful band had one major hit called the Summer of 77. He is also known for his extensive collection of 50 cars and 70 motorcycles. Danny Coker has managed to squeeze a lot of living into the first 50 years of his life. From performing as a touring gospel musician, to teaching himself to fix cars, to hosting a television show, to opening his own car shop, to starring on a reality series, to running a bar and tattoo parlor, to rocking out with his own band, Danny Coker is anything but the run-of-the-mill used car salesman. His route to design and reality show stardom may have been circuitous, but his experiences have definitely influenced his work. Rather than choosing show business over cars or focusing on car design and leaving music behind, he has managed to make a life that combines everything he loves. His car and motorcycle redesigns are recognized for being functional, tough, and beautiful, and his work is often described as being full of heart. Those accolades are not surprising when the designer has clearly lived such a full life. Early Life Danny Nicholas Coker II was born in Cleveland, Ohio on January 5, 1964. He grew up in both Cleveland and Detroit, Michigan, in a family that was a mix of Ford Motor Company employees and show business professionals. He was always fascinated with cars and taught himself how to repair and retrofit vehicles. He fell in love with old cars and knew that he wanted to have his own collection someday. However, many of his early years were spent on the road singing. His father was a singer and pianist. A classically trained baritone and pianist, he toured with the Cathedral Quartet throughout the 60s and performed with the Weatherfords and the Foggy River Boys. Salary For his role on the show Accounting Cars, Danny Coker reportedly receives a salary of $100,000 per episode. The number of episodes for each season varies, but from 2016 to 2018 there was an average of 16 episodes per season. Based on this number, Danny Coker earns roughly $1.6 million per year for his role in accounting cars. Murray Sawchuk Net Worth 2024 Murray Sawchuk, a name synonymous with magic, comedy, and entertainment, has made a significant mark in the world of illusion. As we look ahead to 2024, fans and financial enthusiasts alike are curious about the net worth of this illustrious magician. 
In this article, we will delve into the financial fabric of Murray Sachuk's career, exploring various aspects that contribute to his net worth and what we might expect in the year 2024. Understanding Murray Sachuk's Net Worth Murray Sachuk's net worth is a reflection of his multifaceted career. As a magician, he has performed on stages across the globe, captivating audiences with his unique blend of magic and comedy. His financial success is not just the result of ticket sales from live performances but also stems from his television appearances, YouTube channel, and various other entrepreneurial ventures. Philanthropy and Personal Life Murray is also known for his philanthropic efforts, which, while not directly contributing to his net worth, speak to his character and the way he manages his wealth. His personal life, including his relationships and lifestyle choices, can also indirectly influence his financial status, lifestyle and spending habits. The way Murray chooses to live his life and his spending habits will also affect his net worth. Celebrities who manage their finances wisely tend to see their net worth grow over time. Mark Hall Patton Biography and Wiki Mark Hall Patton is the museum administrator for the Clark County Museum System, where he oversees the Clark County Museum, the Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum, and the Searchlight History Museum. He was born in 1954 in Santa Ana, California, United States. Prior to that, he was director of the San Luis Obispo County Historical Museum in California. Mark has worked for both public and private nonprofit museums and has consulted with numerous startup and established museums and museum boards. Mark is a map surveyor for the American Association of Museums and the author of two books as well as over 400 published articles. Mark has written and produced 48 local history videos. In the year 2009, he hosted a live interview roundtable program on C4 television in the Vegas Valley and is regularly seen on the History Channel's Pawn Stars as a visiting expert. In addition to the Nevada Museums Association, where Mark served as president from 2000 to 2002 and 2008 to 2010, he served on the California Association of Museums and Western Museums Association boards. Mark is a member of the board of the Nevada Test Site Historical Foundation and the Nevada Aerospace Hall of Fame. Mark is married to Dr. Colleen Hall Patton, a professor of sociology and women's studies at UNLV, as well as they are the parents of Joseph and Ellen Hall Patton. Sources estimate Mark Hall Patton's net worth is about $2.5 million. What is Rick Dale's net worth? Rick Dale is an American reality television star and professional antique restorer who has a net worth of $2 million. Dale is the owner of Rick's Restorations in Las Vegas, and he starred on the History Channel reality series American Restoration from 2010 to 2014. According to the official Rick's Restorations website, the series features Rick Dale and his crew of loose screws at Rick S. Restorations in Las Vegas, Nevada, as they take rusty, beat-up items and restore them to their original glory. American Restoration is a spin-off of the popular series Upon Stars, which Rick appeared on more than a dozen times. Dale has also appeared in episodes of American Pickers eh, 2011 to 2013 and Accounting Cars eh, 2014, as well as the documentary A Coked Up. 2016. Early Life. Rick Dale was born Richard James Dale on December 13, 1970. Some sources say that Rick was born in Newport Beach, California, while others list his birthplace as Las Vegas, Nevada. His father was a mechanic and a professional racer, and he began teaching Rick and his brother, Ron, how to restore items at an early age, beginning with an old bicycle. At age 13, Dale's father entered him into a soapbox derby racing program, and he learned how to build cars and started winning soapbox derby championships. Rick later began taking motorcycles apart and rebuilding them. Career before opening Rick's Restorations, Dale owned a construction company, and when the business was struggling, he purchased a Coke machine at the Rose Bowl flea market, and after restoring it, he sold it for three times what he had spent on it. Rick began regularly restoring Coke machines, and when he traveled around the U.S. to deliver them, he often bought items he could restore from people he met on his journey. He built up a successful business with repeat customers, and after the producers of Gupon Stars approached him about pawning a gas tank he had been trying to sell, he convinced them to let him appear on the series as an expert who could tell the show's stars how much items were worth, personal life. Rick had one child with his first wife, then he had two children with Kelly Mayer after marrying her in 1994. The Rick's Restorations website states that the business is a family affair and that Kelly handles the business operations and development, their son Tyler runs the shop and their other son Brettley is both a salesman and a picker.
Their daughter Ally is both the office manager and accounts receivable while Michelle, their niece, is assistant manager and in charge of merchandise. Dale's brother, Ron, also works for the business as a picker. Steve Grand Net Worth 2024 Steve Grand, an American singer-songwriter and musician, has been a notable figure in the music industry since his breakout in 2013. As we look ahead to 2024, fans and industry observers alike are curious about the net worth of this talented artist. In this article, we will delve into various aspects of Steve Grand's career, his earnings, and what factors may influence his net worth in 2024. Steve Grand's net worth in 2024 $10 million. This is a culmination of his hard work, talent, and business acumen. From his early days as a young musician to his rise to fame with All American Boy, Grand has shown that he is not only a skilled artist but also a savvy entrepreneur. His ability to connect with audiences, coupled with his strategic approach to brand building and income diversification, suggests that his financial status will remain strong in the coming years. As we look to 2024, it's clear that Steve Grand's net worth is reflective of a career that has been carefully cultivated and is poised for continued success. Who is Rebecca Romney? Her wiki details, husband, and net worth. Rebecca Romney is an author, reality television personality, writer, and rare book expert. In addition to that, she is famous amongst the public due to her expert reviews in the popular show Pawn Stars which is aired on History TV channel. Who is Rebecca Romney? Rebecca Romney, with no Wikipedia page, is a well-known book dealer, TV personality, author, actor, and appraiser who is best known due to the show named Pawn Stars. Rebecca Romney Biography and Parents Details Despite having many social media accounts and being active in social media activities, when it comes to her parents, she is rather very quiet about it. So as a result, neither their appearance nor their occupation is known. A similar case can be seen in the information regarding her siblings which is why there is no information about whether she is the only child to her parents or if she has other siblings with whom she grew up together. Rebecca Romney enjoys her birthday cake on August 27 every year with her family and friends. She was born on August 27, 1985. According to her date of birth, she has the star or zodiac sign of Virgo. Apart from this, she was born in Las Vegas, United States of America so, she holds an American nationality. Also, she belongs to the Caucasian ethnic group that follows Christianity as her religion. Even though people know her as Rebecca Romney, her birth name is Rebecca Angeline Engert. Rebecca stands tall with a height of over 5 feet and 5 inches with a weight of about 55 kilograms. As for her educational history, she went to Rare Book School for the introduction to the principles of bibliographic description and teaching the history of the book. And later, she attended Colorado Antiquarian Book Seminar which is an intensive course for antiquarian booksellers. Rebecca is seen active on various social media platforms and among them are Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Moreover, on Instagram, she is present as Rebecca Romney with the Instagram handle as at Rebecca.Romney. She has over 145k followers along with 390 posts on her Instagram account. Furthermore, she is also active on Facebook as Rebecca Romney which is also the name for her Instagram account. In her Facebook account, she has over 193k followers. Similarly, she is also seen active on Twitter with the same name as her other social media account which is Rebecca Romney. Likewise, she first opened her Twitter account back in April 2009 with the Twitter handle as at Rebecca Romney. Along with that, she has a verified Twitter account which has over 51.8k followers with more than 4,192 tweets. Rebecca Romney Married Life Rebecca Romney is a married woman who has committed her life to her current husband J.P. Romney. Moreover, J.P. is a talented historian and also an adult author who is well known among the public for his book named The Monster on the Road Is Me. The couple has been married for a long time now. However, due to Rebecca's private loving nature, there is not much information that can be found on the internet sites and research data. But, according to the research at the time J.P. Romney met his wife, Rebecca, he had already started thriving as a literary writer. Other than that, there are no details about their relationship and their marriage, and the information regarding her previous relationship before being together with J.S. is also missing from the research data. Rebecca Romney Net Worth and Career Details Rebecca Romney's career as an author and rare book expert has been profitable and enjoyable for her as she has been successful in increasing her net worth which has reached to be around $1 million as of 2022. Moreover, Rebecca is well known for her TV series and documentary named Pawn Stars and the booksellers respectively where she has been credited as herself. 
Further, Rebecca is currently the co-founder of Type Punch Matrix since July 2019 and is also the rare book specialist in the Pawn Stars TV show since 2011. But, before that, she used to work at Bauman Rare Books where she was initially the manager and rare bookseller for eight years and three months and later got promoted to senior projects director, a manager who worked there for over two years. Then after, she was a founder and co-host of the Biblioclass podcast for a year. Eventually, from 2016 to 2019, she was bookseller and principal at Honey and Wax Booksellers. As an author, she is the co-author of the book, Printer's Error, Irreverent Stories from Book History Together with J.P. Romney. Rick Harrison Net Worth, Inside the Pawn Stars Many Millions Richard Harrison is an American businessman and also a reality television personality. He rose to fame with the series E Pawn Stars on the History Channel. Rick Harrison's net worth is estimated at around $9 million. Rick Harrison Net Worth, Diving into Pawn Shop Ownership Rick Harrison's transition into the pawn shop business is also a fascinating story. Harrison mentioned in his autobiography that he believed that converting their gold and silver shop into a pawn shop was a logical progression. But there was a catch, the antiquated license laws of Las Vegas mandated that new licenses were to be issued only once the city's population surpassed 250,000. As Harrison said, apparently in 1955, the good old boys got together and they passed the city ordinance saying they'd issue one more pawn license when the city population got to a quarter of a million. Since the population was below that level new licenses were not being issued and as a result those already having them were selling them to buyers for as high as a million dollars. Harrison did not have that much money so a pawn license looked out of bounds for him. However, he soon discovered that the population of Las Vegas was starting to near 250,000 so he started checking it regularly. I start calling the city statistician once a week, once every two weeks. And in April of 88, he goes, yeah, we think it's a quarter of a million, said Harrison. One fine day, the statistician told Harrison, I believe we are over 250,000. However, getting a pawn shop license wasn't that easy for him and he had to slog it out. As Harrison said, they didn't give it to me. But six months later, a judge said, he was the first one there, I give him the license. Harrison paid only around $50 for the license was a tiny fraction of what those already holding the license were asking for. With the license in hand, Rick Harrison and his father opened the gold and silver pawn shop in 1989 at 713 Las Vegas Boulevard South, which is just about two miles from the Las Vegas Strip. Rick Harrison net worth, growing the pawn shop. A pawn shop license did not guarantee success as there were large nationwide pawn chains that Harrison needed to compete with. One of the ways through which Harrison managed to achieve early success was to set the business up differently and target a niche market. As a small business owner with big competition, we had to figure out a way to be different. We saw an opportunity to invite people to sell their rare and unusual items at our shop, in addition to conducting our usual pawn business. Now, when the big corporate pawn shops get an item they don't recognize, they send the customer to us, said Harrison. Harrison also had a knack for spotting fakes and used the knowledge to grow the pawn shop business. As the website of his pawn shop puts it, utilizing his encyclopedic knowledge gleaned from a lifetime of voracious reading, he could spot the value in oddities, antiques, historical artifacts, art, and the like. The business acquired a bit of a reputation as that quirky spot on Las Vegas Boulevard where you could find Rembrandt's, a 400-year-old samurai sword, or a diamond-encrusted Super Bowl championship ring. Rick Harrison Net Worth, Launching a Pawn Stars Harrison rose to fame with the Pawn Stars show on History Channel which has over 630 episodes spread across 21 seasons. Apart from Rick Harrison, the following are the cast of the popular show. Rick Harrison's Controversies like many other celebrities, especially reality television stars, Rick Harrison's life is also not free from controversies. Harrison's mother has sued him over the family assets as well as the ownership of the gold and silver pawn shop. In the lawsuit, Joanne Harrison alleges that when was sick and in a coma around 2000 or 2001, she was forced to sign over her 51% stake in the gold and silver pawn shop. She also alleged that when her husband and Rick Harrison's father Richard Harrison, the old man, on the Pawn Stars, died in 2018, she inherited his share of 49% in the pawn shop but hasn't been provided any documentation of her finances by Rick. She also claimed that she had been barred from accessing the family trust that he had accumulated approximately $500,000 worth of silver and at least $100,000 in cash.
She said that while Harrison disbursed her some money every month after 2018, the payment stopped during the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020. Harrison meanwhile denied any wrongdoing and in his statement to the media he said, I can say that the allegations are false and I think that my 81-year-old mother is being manipulated by others for their personal gain. In the past, his pawn shop courted controversy over melting stolen gold coins even as it was within the ambit of law. What can we learn from Rick Harrison's life? Just like any other celebrity, there are plenty of learnings from Rick Harrison's life starting with his determination and never-say-die attitude. His determination and resolve formed the backbone of his success in life, providing a valuable lesson to us all. He knew he wanted to launch a pawn shop so he did everything he could to get one, even calling the city statistician over and over again to get a license for $50. His perseverance saved him a million dollars and set him up for an incredible career. Harrison also didn't back down when it looked like his dreams of launching his own reality TV show would be crushed. He pitched the idea to over a dozen production houses only to be turned down. His father didn't even believe in him but did he give up? No. Harrison said, everyone kept telling me you know, no one wants to watch four fat guys in a pawn shop. Harrison's persistence and History Channel's faith in him paid off and Pawn Stars was not only the highest rated premiere in the history of History Channel, but within a year it was the leading show on cable. Also, Harrison overcame his epilepsy in childhood to become a millionaire. While not many gave him a chance due to his lack of formal education, he made it big with his determination and skills. While the pawn shop laid the foundation for his success, Rick Harrison didn't stop there and expanded his success to television which brought him both fame and money. His story is a testament to the value of persistence, taking risks, and exploring new avenues to become even more successful. Who was Adam Harrison? His Wikipedia, Age, and Amp, Girlfriend Adam Harrison, the son of Gapon stars a creator, Rick Harrison died in Las Vegas at age 39 on January 19, 2024 on Friday. Rick Harrison shared a photo with his late son, Adam Harrison via an Instagram post on January 20, 2024 and pays tribute to him. Who was Adam Harrison? Wikipedia and Age Adam Harrison was a plumber but better known as the son of Dupont stars a creator and lead Rick Harrison. It came to the media that Rick's son, Adam Harrison died due to a drug overdose on January 19, 2024 at age 39. His death news was announced by his father, Rick Harrison on his social media account. Adam Harrison has become one of the trending topics on the internet. Many people are searching for his Wikipedia page and biography details. Adam Harrison doesn't have a Wikipedia page. The same name Adam Harrison has a Wikipedia page, but he is a Welsh cricketer. Adam Harrison was born and raised by his parents in Nevada, in the United States of America. His father is Rick Harrison and his mother is Kim Harrison. His parents got married in 1982 but their marriage life wasn't last long and they got divorced in 1985. Furthermore, Adam grew up with his sibling namely Corey Harrison. Adam Harrison was born in 1984, making him 39 years of age at the time of his death. However, his actual birth date and zodiac sign remain a mystery. Furthermore, Adam was an American by nationality and belonged to a white ethnicity. In addition, he followed the Christian religion. His approximate height was around 5 feet 7 inches or 1.70 m tall, and he had a decent weight of about 74 kilograms or 163 pounds. Adam Harrison might be a college graduate, as his educational details are unavailable at the moment. Adam Harrison's Girlfriend Many people are curious whether Adam Harrison had a girlfriend or not. Well, Rick Harrison's son, Adam Harrison was most probably single and didn't have any girlfriend before his death. He was more focused on his career goals and passion over relationships. However, Adam Harrison didn't mention his girlfriend or partner's details in the public media. Adam loved to keep his personal life a secret and avoid the media's eyes before his death. Nevertheless, he might had a girlfriend or wife, but no information are available about his personal life. Net Worth and Career Adam Harrison's actual net worth is unknown in the media. Being an American plumber, he might had a decent net worth of around $100,000. Although, his father, Rick Harrison has an estimated net worth of about $9 million. Adam Harrison started his career at a young age as a plumber. No other details are available about his professional career. However, his dad, Rick Harrison has a massive net worth of about $9 million, which he earned from his career as an American business owner and reality TV star.
Mr. Rick Harrison owns the gold and silver pawn shop, and he is popularly known for the TV show, Pawn Stars, Adam Harrison's Cause of Death. Many people are keen to know about Adam Harrison's cause of death. It was rumored that Adam Harrison passed away due to a drug overdose. However, his actual cause of death is unknown in the media. Adam Harrison died on January 19, 2024 at age 39. So dear viewers, if you like this video click on the like button and comment dot and don't forget to subscribe our channel, thanks for watching.